Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. Today is March the 21st, 2022, and before we jump into things, I want to talk about the links in my description. I do have a Patreon link with the variety of tiers, and one of those tiers may be right for you. I also have a TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using that link, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. I also have a Spreadshirt shop with a ton of different designs and your Playmat discount code for 10% off, where you can build your own custom Playmat and card sleeves. Here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you very much. Now, let's get moving. Starting the list off here today with Urza Saga from Modern Horizons 2. This land is down 6.27% from $37.30 to $34.96 on the market, and its average price currently is $40. And the next loser on our list here today is Carpet of Flowers from the Secret Lair series. This enchantment is down 6.28% from $33.14 to $31.06 on the market, and its average price right now is $35. Next on our losers section is Oracle of Moldaya from Jumpstart. This reprint is down 6.37% from $18.37 to $17.20 on the market and its average price is $19.14. Next up on our losers section is Path to Exile, the Secret Layer X Arcane version of this instant, down 6.95% from $20 to $18.61 on the market, and its average price is $17.24. Our next loser of the day is Commander's Plate from Commander Legends. This mythic is down 7.20% from $14.30 to $13.27 on the market, and its average price is $15.50. And we've got Blood Moon, and this is the ninth edition version of this enchantment, down 7.32% from 1994 to 1848 today, and its average price is $19.99. And the next loser on our list is Goshinte of Life's Origin from Commander Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. This card is down 10.63% from 1674 to $14.96 on the market, and its average price is $18.43. Our final loser of the day is Brassman from Arabian Nights. This card is down 11.40% from $61.47 to $54.46 on the market, and its average price is $52.50. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day. And we are going to start that list off here with Archmage's Charm from Modern Horizons. This instant is on our list again. It was on our list a few times in the past week. It's up again 6.27% from 1833 to 1948 on the market. And its average price is $20. The foil retro frame from Modern Horizons 2 is sitting at $25.77 for its average price and this card is seeing a lot of play in the modern format in decks like Murktide Regent, Azorius Control, Blue Red Control, Blink, Bant Control, and even Commander decks like Jin Gataxis and even Shurikai Genesis Engine. Our next winner on the list is the Wandering Emperor from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. This legendary Planeswalker is up 6.45% today from $23.86 to $25.40 on the market, and its average price is $26. The borderless version of this card from the same set is sitting at $36.03 on the market, and its average price is $36.35. And the showcase version of this card with a nice anime style artwork is sitting at $92.77 on the market and its average price is $93.85. This card is seeing a lot of play in the standard format right now in decks like Mono, White Aggro, Orzhov, Midrange, Azorius Control, as well as Azorius Control and Pioneer and other standard decks as well like Esper Control and even Celesti Midrange. Next up is Dryad of the Elysian Grove from Theros. 
Beyond Death, this enchantment creature is up 7.86% today from $17.31 to $18.67 on the market and its average price is $16.79. The extended art version of this card from the Collector Booster Packs is sitting at $18.87 on the market and its average price is $20, so very comparable price point to the regular copy. This card is seeing some modern play in Amulet Titan decks right now and Commander decks as well, like Goshen Day of Life's Origin and even Omnath Locus of Creation. And the next winner on our list here today is Endurance from Modern Horizons 2. This Mythic Elemental is up 9.53% today from $30.84 to $33.78 on the market, and its average price is $34.70. One cents. The borderless version of this card with different artwork is currently sitting at $40.40 on the market and its average price is $42.11. This card is seeing most of its play in the modern format right now in decks like Amulet Titan, Blink, Yogmoth, Crashing Footfalls, as well as Blue Living End, and Legacy decks like Elves and Lands. And the next winner we have today on our winner's section is Merc Tide Region, another card from Modern Horizons 2. This mythic is up 10.63% from $23.89 to $26.43 on the market, and its average price is $26. The showcase version of this card with the sketch artwork is sitting at $24.35 on the market, and its average price is $25. This card is also seeing a ton of play across a variety of formats in modern decks like Murktide Region, obviously, and Blue Red Control, as well as Crashing Footfalls, and Legacy decks like Grixis Tempo, and Vintage decks like Underworld Breach and Blue Tempo as well. And the next winner on our list is an old card. We're going all the way back to Legends. It is Nickel Bolas. Yes, this card is up 11.54%. From $311.94 to $347.94 for its market price, and its average price is $224. Now, the cheapest version of this card using the exact same artwork is actually the time shifted version from Time Spiral, and that card is sitting at $2.54 on the market, and its average price is $2.61. And the next winner on our list today is a reserve list card that has been on our list. A few times in the past week, it is Ancestral Knowledge from Weatherlight with a buyout again, up 14.10% today from $9.29 to $10.60 on the market, and its average price currently is $14.99. And our final winner of the day is another blue reserve list card, but it's from Alliances this time. It is Phantasmal Sphere. This card is up 89.34% today from $1.22 to $2.31 on the market, and its average price currently is $1.64. What do you guys think? Was this a potential buyout? Let me know in the comment sections. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day. And we are going to start that list off here with Serum Visions. And this is the original printing from Fifth Dawn. And its foil is up 28.85% today from $6.17 to $7.95. And the next foil on our list is Crackle with Power from Strixhaven School of Mages. This card is up 29.80% today from $10 to $12.98. And the next foil winner on our winner section here today is Mercadian Bazaar from Mercadian Mass. This land is up 31.53% today from $15.19 to $19.98. Next up on our foil winner section is Sphere of Safety 588 from the Secret Layer series. This card is up 35.88% from $5.88 to $7.99. And we've got Gitu Slinger from Urza's Legacy. This old frame foil is up 40.86% today from $4.65 to $6.55. Next foil winner is Jessica, Warrior Adept from Judgment, another old frame foil up 41.38% from $53.89 to $76.19. 
and we've got Dream Shackle Geist from Innistrad Double Feature. This foil is up 46.42% today from $31.11 to $45.55. And our final foil winner of the day is Shire Shizu's Caretaker from Ultimate Masters. This reprint is up 47.48% today from $4.17 to $6.15. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers. It really, really means a lot to me. If you could, could you hit the like button so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm as yes, I'm still trying to grow on this platform and all the likes and comments that you guys have been leaving have really helped grow my channel. I also want to know your thoughts on today's video. Let me know what was your favorite mover of the day, which cards are you most surprised to see on the list, and which cards do you actually own that showed up on the market movers list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. I also make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering market movers. And until then, please enjoy the rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.